Hello and welcome to Tushka Training. We're back in Reaper and this is the Reaper Extreme series. Uh, tips and tricks for the more advanced user of uh, Reaper. Um, today we're looking at a color menu, a slick color menu. Some people swear by the color toolbar. I think Evil Dragon came up with that. Uh, it's a little bit big for my liking and it was for somebody else as well so i created this uh, slick color menu idea for them uh, i don't use it myself i'm a big fan of using uh, auto coloring uh, via the track name so i say i'll put in my guitarist name in the track and it will auto color it purple for him i'll put in the vocalist name it'll auto color it red for them and so on and so forth that'll be something we'll cover in a later tutorial uh, today we're going to do this um this this color menu so we're going to open the action list we're going to type in sws color into the filter we're going to open the color management window like so and we're going to create our color uh our, our system um our custom colors sorry uh first thing we'll do is we'll add a red um and then an orange uh, and a green and as you can see, I've already set these colors. We'll, set, we'll we'll keep these six. I'm just gonna go with the first six, like so. You're gonna save that color set. And the reason you're gonna save that color set is because this color picker is the exact same color picker that Reaper uses when you're messing with your theme. So if you've been messing with your theme and you've saved a few custom colors here, which is quite common if you wanna set things to the same color, um, you're gonna to need to load your color set back up. So you'll have to open up your uh, color management tool and uh, load the color set back up. Um, so we'll close that now we've, we've created our colors. We're going to go to customize menus and toolbars. We're going to bring up our track control panel context here like this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything. If you haven't watched our um, cookbook series on customizing menus and toolbars, uh, you might not understand why I'm deleting everything, but I'm deleting everything anyway. So if you want to know, uh, go and watch that video. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sub menu and I'm going to call it uh, track colors like so. Uh, and then I'm going to add some actions. Uh, we're going to to uh, set selected track colors. So I'm going to get select uh, custom one, custom color two, custom color three, custom color four, custom color five. And on six, I'm going to double click and that'll just close that window behind me. And then I'm going to bring all these custom colors into submenu like so most people are just going to say this is just customizing menus as before but this is where the trick comes into it um what you do is you rename and just delete the name rename and delete obviously you would never ever do this on any other type of menu um because you'd end up with a menu that actually has nothing at all uh in the menu itself but in this particular instance it's perfect because when you go to track colors, you just get your colors. So it's a nice little slick tip just to get a little uh, color menu here um, without having all that silly text everywhere. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next tutorial.